Uh, so houses for puppy love. One wedding party skipped the flowers entirely and included puppies instead. What a great idea. Yeah. And so the bride, Sarah Maluka Crane, joins us now on the phone. Uh, great idea, Sarah. Was it yours? How, how'd you come up with this? Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, yes, it only seemed fitting because I sit on the board of directors for the nonprofit Rescue Pities Love Peace that, you know, we had to incorporate some of the dogs somehow. So with the puppies, they're obviously much easier to hold mm -hmm. than any adult dogs. Um, and we had rescued them um, not long before our wedding. So the timing as well just worked to our benefit. But we certainly had no idea that the photos would go viral like this. Right. So it was a great surprise you for know, everyone. It's, it's one thing to see all the ladies with the puppies in their hands, and mm -hmm. it's quite another entirely to see all the groomsmen holding these puppies. What was the response that you got from your wedding party? Oh, they were so excited. I mean, all of our friends are such dog lovers. One of our groomsmen even adopted a dog through Pity's Love Peace a few years ago. So when I approached them all with the idea, they weren't surprised at all, and they were more than thrilled to be able to, you know, play with puppies on the wedding day. That's something <laughs> that they've never done before. Hey, what a beautiful uh, wedding party you have with the, the, all the women there. And, you know, the guys, too, great Thank group. You. And so the guests, were, how did it work? So everybody just walked in with a dog, and then they mingled with everybody? How did it work? It was a little different. We brought them in um, in the morning and afternoon. Uh, we found out a few days before that the weather was going to be almost 100 degrees. So we didn't want the puppies to be uncomfortable or overheat. So we opted at that point to bring them in for pictures in the morning. Um, and then that's when we swapped the bouquets out for a while so that the puppies wouldn't eat them. Um, <laughs> and then right. after that, the puppies went back to their foster homes where they're currently waiting um, for their forever homes. You know, we've talked about it being viral, and, uh, you know, it's why we're speaking with you here this morning. Have you had any response in terms of uh, other organizations saying, we want to help your organization, or people saying, I would love to adopt one? We have. The response has been overwhelming because we really weren't prepared for it. We've had major dog companies approach us asking um, what we need, what they can do to help us, oh. as well as the adoption applications are pouring in. Hmm. So... Um, the wonderful part is puppies do get adopted fairly quickly, but we've had response for a lot of our older dogs that people are seeing on our website and Facebook page. Sarah, quickly, give us your contact info for uh, your Facebook page and how somebody can get a hold of your organization. Wonderful. Our Facebook page is Pities Love Peace, P-I-T-T-I-E-L-O-V-E-P-E-A-C-E. -E -E. Um, that's where you can find all of our adoptable dogs. Um, that's usually the most up-to-date site as well. So, thank you so much for talking with us. Great, Great idea. idea. Love yeah. it. Great pictures. Thank you so much. Thanks and, for, you know, spreading the word about rescue dogs. You we got greatly it. appreciate it. Congratulations on your wedding. Yeah, have a good, Wonderful. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Bye.